Welcome back for possibly the last time. This ends the Hindley Milner series, but before you go, I wanted to show you uh, this project, which is a interactive type inference thing you can play with in your browser. So here you can enter any kind of expression you want. So for example, the classic one we were doing is odd three or something like that. Um, and then when you hover over the abstract syntax tree, you can see what is selected and it will also go through the type derivation with you. Uh, so for example, algorithm W, it shows, you know, bottom up, right? It likes this one, this one, and then joins them up there. Algorithm M, it will like look at the first one and kind of push those constraints down. Um, and also, you know, we can see it expects things uh, to kind of unify with those types before we push them down. You can try out a load of different expressions. So for example, you know, map not, uh, there's kind of more syntax in this. So for example, we have lists, we have lots more kind of things. We've got tuples as well. Um, give it a go. Hopefully uh, that might be useful. We've also got the code we were working with in our GitHub repository, and that's available, link in the description as well. And finally, just a recap of what we've looked at. We've looked at Lambda Calculus, Hindley Milner types, substitutions, unification, typing rules, typing algorithms, and then implemented all that in TypeScript. And so if you got this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciated you kind of coming along for the journey. And hopefully you've enjoyed it a lot and learned a lot. I really appreciate it, especially people who have left comments and feedback that's helped improve the series over time. And if you do have any other feedback, please do feel free to leave it on any video or this one. And I'll also try and be around to answer comments, even though I don't plan to continue making uh, any more videos in this series. Thanks and goodbye.